the the ability uh, to double and redouble and redouble energy so that with just, say, 20 people, you've got, you know, whatever that would be. It would be, you know, in the thousands of people that they, they have the, the power of that many people. Um, I do know that it works. I do know that it that it creates uh an energy that can be felt and is even statistically provable um fortunately uh, large enough groups have gathered now in cities all over the world uh under the uh leadership of somebody that that believes in this kind of thing and they're wanting to you know have meditations for peace or and they they descend on a city and they meditate there and for the length of time usually a weekend that this group does this the statistics change for that city there are fewer uh, violent crimes there are fewer murders there are fewer auto accidents that kind of thing so um, it definitely um, works and I call it the lighthouse effect and I think that uh, it's really the future uh, of of service uh, for uh, groups like L and L Research, where you are constantly collaborating with other groups and letting your light shine and welcoming their light as well, and knowing that it's all for a, a common goal, which is to lighten the consciousness of planet Earth. And more and more, you have more and more lighthouses out there, so that no matter where you are in the globe, you know the people in that area, if they're looking for the light, if they're looking for the truth, uh, they find the lighthouse or, or the lighthouse finds them. And in light travels so far and a little tiny bit of it can be seen um, at such a distance. I, I read somewhere that a candle can be seen for a half a mile uh, if there's nothing impeding, you know, if there's no smog or fog uh, and the conditions are, are clear. You can see the light of one one little candle for half a mile away, and the darkness cannot put out the light. It it might want to, but it cannot do that. So I think that's very symbolic, and and I like to think of all of us as lighthouses in the dark. <laughs> 